So what kind of cinematic scene do you like? Me personally, I like like low light, dark, moody scene. I want to use at least one low light scene in a film, but I remember that I struggle so much to color grade, low light, log, you know, didn't know how to make a good contrast and to reduce the noise and, you know, to make an extra moody feel. So today, for all who are struggling to color grade, low light, log, scene, something like this, like this scene, I'm gonna show you how to color grade this kind of low light log from this to this. I'm gonna show you the secret of color grading low light log. As always, let's breathe a new life into the footage. Enjoy. Okay, first, this log footage was shot on Ari Amira. As you can see, there are details left, but I'm not expecting to be able to remain them when I add a contrast. So let's not be afraid of crushing you know, those shadows. Sometimes it's good for you know, expressing the dark, serious, cool mood. But anyway, first, let's transform this log to Rec 79. So I'm gonna add one more serial node, and this goes to at the end of the node tree and I'm gonna name the color space transform. I'm just going to open effects and search it. Color. It is color space transform. So I'm gonna apply this on this CST node. So I talked about this color space transform before in this video, but casually you can put the camera information of that footage and you can transform it to the color space you want. This whole timeline is Rec 709, which is pretty you know, general color space. And I wanna transform this footage to that. Okay, first, as I said, this footage was shot on Ari Amira, but there is no Ari Amira, but this Ari Alexa uh, does work. And for input gamma, I'm looking for Ari Log C. And output color space is of course Rec 79 right here. And output gamma is gamma 2.4. So important thing is knowing your camera information. Easy. Just check your picture profile setting. So this footage got some basic contrast and saturation, but obviously it's too orange and weird, and I want to fix the you know details of contrast. So before I do any creative stuff, I should balance the image. So I'm gonna create one more serial node and this goes up. I'm gonna deal with at the last, but this one is gonna be the temperature. So just easy one thing, I'm gonna use this offset which can control the overall color position. So I'm moving this point to blue to reduce the, you know, those red orange feels. So I'm just gonna move this until gets balanced. When you do this, check the RGB parades. This tells you where you are. All right, I'm gonna stop right here. So before, after, before, after, that's it. Now the image is pretty normal. So I'm gonna create one more serial node and this one will be the primary, which I uh, control those left gamma gain offset the basically the contrast you know the exposure so basically I'm gonna recover the detail but at the same time gain the sharp block for you know shadow still I don't really care about this man now I'm seeing this image widely like you know, totally so first I'm gonna do is lowering the contrast with this slider because now it's obviously you know, too much of contrast then I'm gonna lower this Looks good. Also bring the pivot up to push those lights up, which means, you know, making the image bright. Okay, and bring this offset up. So 
So now the image, I mean the you know, details are lifted up and uh, we can see the details here, but definitely it's kind of you know, too flat. As you can see, this shadow point is too lifted up. So using lift gamma gay, I'm going to find sweet spot. So I think I'm going to start off with a gay. So I'm just going to lower this to reduce the harshness. Let's do something like this and bring the gamma. And next, definitely, I'm going to bring those bottom lines down. And at the last, I'm getting more saturation to know what's going on here. I'm going to go like this so before, after, before and after. You know, we recovered some details from here to here, but those shadows looking good so i think i'm gonna go with this so next process will decide the mood of the scene which is look so i'm gonna create the serial node so i'm gonna name look so most of the time after balancing the image like i did on cst and temperature and primary you start making a look and when that using log wheels is easy to you know make your color so this is low light scene and now the dark area the shadow is dominating the image pretty much so that means the color of shadow has the huge power to change the tone for example i'm gonna show you some if i move this shadow to blue the image starts having the kind of serious dark mood but if i go like a yellow or orange, you know, it starts having you know, some different kind of feel. Well, what color to use is totally up to you, but this time I wanna make some kind of serious, but also warm, calm, which makes a you know, kind of psychopath, creepy mood. So I will choose the deep green for a dominant space, which is shadow. So I'm gonna grab this shadow and move to green side something like this see huge difference before after before and after but now it's just scary you know it's just uh, dark and serious i want a warm feel to create the opposite mood of green for shadow so for mid-tone let's get orange so basically this mid-tone moves with around here so watch carefully when I'm moving the mid-tone. Let's go like this. Okay, now it looks pretty good. You know, they're both of dark and warm. I mean, green and orange. You know, those two, which cannot relate each other, you know, are mixing right here. You know, this nonsense is emphasizing his, you know, psychopath, creepy, uh, the character, the personality, feel. And also, I'm going to use hue versus saturation to reduce the saturation of orange, yellow. Now, it's kind of too much, like uh, here and here. So, I'm just going to bring this red. And also, let's bring the yellow down. This is too much. What about this? So this is before, after, before, and after. And if I did look node, of course, I'm gonna create the layer node. And this one is skin. And to save his skin tone, I'm gonna cover his area by a window. Just, I'm just gonna do something like this. And going to qualifier and hit the shift plus eight to highlight the selected area and i'm going to sample his skin just like this and start selecting his skin i think this will work so i'm going to add denoise and also a blur radius just like this and hit shift plus h to go back the image then going to the curve and i'm gonna slightly bring this up just like this before after before 
after and going to hue versus hue and make points on red and yellow and i think i'm gonna bring this yellow up to the you know, red magenta side and going to hue versus saturation i'm gonna bring the red up and bring the yellow down good so this is before after before and after you know when you make a creative look which doesn't happen in the real life I recommend not to make a real skin tone that much you know because he is in this world with those colors this mood so his skin tone will be also influenced by them so his skin tone is still greenish but I'm going with this so now I'm gonna create one more serial node and this one is vignette the classic vignette I'm gonna use the window tool and cover this area like this and i'm trying to make a, a leaking light from this uh, door so let's do something like this and make the edge soft and I'm going to carve i'm gonna bring it up just like this let's do like this and I'm going to meet the detail and i'm gonna lower it down to make it more you know creamier softer and i'm gonna create the outside node and bring it down so those two are making the classic vignette so before after before and after so next process is pretty necessary for me when it's low light which is noise reduction so i'm gonna name noise reduction and from open effects let's choose noise reduction and apply on here so i'm just gonna change motion type to better from faster for the you know better quality and i'm just gonna do the threshold around six but not too much because you're gonna lose details and because there are so many color noises so i'm gonna uncheck it and only chroma i'm gonna bring it up so let's do around five this should work okay so let's zoom into the image and cause this is before so many noises you know the colors are breaking after so clean so smooth so this is what noise reduction can do guys i'm thinking a video to you know deep dive into the noise reduction so if you want it show me a thumb or comment below Okay, so I think I'm gonna create one more serial node, but this is a totally optional. I'm gonna name grain. You know, I like to add a film grain to get more film look. So going to open FX and I'm gonna search grain and film grain, apply it. So basically I'm gonna add a 60 mil film grain, but I'm just gonna I uh, need a little bit of change, but only the texture and size. The texture up, lower the grain size, something like that. Okay, so this is before and after. So let me play it for you. Okay, actually that's it. So I'm gonna turn off all of this and let me take you to the journey of all processes we did to get this look from this log flat image. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed I'm gonna set the camera on tripod so important thing is first don't try to recover all details and don't don't be afraid of crushing shadow sometimes especially in the low light the complete black will help you you know will help your story and your look second the color of a shadow it changes a lot so have the theme of your video, of your scene, and choose the color that can express your theme. Third, deal with the noise. Obviously, this will be solved in the second with noise reduction in DaVinci Resolve. 
But anyway, I will be so glad if you tried those methods when you color grade your next uh, low light log. So if you have any questions about this color grading, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you have any requests for next uh, CNC color grading tutorial, don't also don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And the Instagram DM, I got and a lot of requests. So if you have any, just send it to me. So today's subscribe is pretty much it. And thank you for watching this video. If you like this one, show me a thumb and uh, hit the subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.